The Couple Next Door, written by Peg Lynch and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. Yes, what is it? There's what a is man it? at the front door. He wants to see you. A man? Who is it? I don't know. It's funny at this hour of the morning. All right, all right. You sit down and eat, darling. No, I want to go with you. Oh, no. All right, come on. Did you recognize him? No. <laughs> funny. Well, there's nobody out here. Betsy? Able <laughs> food. Oh, you dick. <laughs> did you think there was somebody out there? Yes, I did. You certainly fooled me. <laughs> did I, Mommy? Yes, you did, you dickens. <laughs> I want to play an old April Fool joke on Daddy. All right, all right. All right. What can I do? Well, I don't know. You think it up. You seem pretty good at it. I'm going to tell him there's a man out there to see you. All right. It's coming downstairs now. You do it. Now I'll go dish the oatmeal, dear. Uh, Daddy? Da -da 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 -da. Yes, good morning, Betsy Kins. There's a man at the front door. He wants to see you. See me? Yes. Oh, who is it? I don't know. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Nothing. Open the door. Huh? Where is he? <laughs> Never will. Oh, you rascal. Why, you, you little monkey, you, you certainly fooled me. Uh, Mommy, <laughs> did you see what she did to me? <laughs> I don't know what she did to you, but she told me there was somebody outside who wanted to see me, and there wasn't anybody. Well, you old scallywag, you. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, play a joke on me. Now, you well, two eat your breakfast. You're going to be late for work, Daddy, and you'll miss your school bus. Okay, lady. oh, golly. Honey, how did you rip your dress? Where? I just... Hey, <laughs> <laughs> How about that, Bessie? Oh, you too, honestly. <laughs> Mommy, there's a snake on the floor. Yeah, all right, I'm not going to fall for that one. Now, you eat your breakfast. <laughs> Play a joke on me. Well, all right, give us a chance to think of one. You think of such good jokes, we have to think a little ourselves. Make it a good one. Oh, all we right. will, we will. <laughs> now, eat. Hurry up, dear. <laughs> Every morning, the World News Roundup on CBS Radio brings the world to your breakfast table. Every weekday evening, Edward R. Murrow with the news brings you perspective on the most important developments of the day. With typical CBS News accuracy and speed, both of these features keep you in complete touch with the times. But more than that, they make the history of each new day an exciting adventure. Our World News Roundup takes you overseas to the news capitals of the world. It brings you first-hand reports on the big stories, and offers eyewitness observations on the personalities and places in the news. Edward R. Murrow makes following the news exciting in a different way. His personal acquaintance with many world leaders and his unique ability to grasp and convey the meaning of the news makes every report a shortcut to understanding. Hear Edward R. Murrow with the news and our World News Roundup regularly. Day after day, they come your way on most of these same stations. Betsy? Betsy? Where is she? Oh, she's upstairs. She's getting some colored pencils or something. She said she wanted to take to school today. Oh. What are you doing? Making a sandwich for her to take to lunch. Thought she had hot lunches at school. No, she does, but they have the craziest system. You have to take your hot lunch money on Thursday of each week. And if you forget to take it on Thursday, you don't get the hot lunches the next week. Well, can't she take her lunch money on Friday if she forgets? No, it has to be Thursday. Why? Darling, don't ask me. That's the school system. Oh, these systems. And last Thursday, she was out because she had that cold, so she didn't get her lunch money handed in, so now I've got to make sandwiches for her to take this week. Oh, hey, hey. Other times we've forgotten the money, so it seems I've been making sandwiches more often than she's had hot Look, lunches. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what are you making? Uh... uh, uh Ham. Oh, honey, let's, let's play a joke on her. Huh? I mean, she wanted us to play a real funny April Fool's joke on her. I got, I got an idea. What? Yeah, wait a minute. Where's, uh, where's a piece of cardboard? What for? Cardboard, cardboard. Now, let me think. Oh, I uh, don't know, dear. I don't keep cardboard handy. You probably got some upstairs in your clean shirts. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'll get that. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? <laughs> and look, you make up that ham sandwich so she has a decent sandwich, see? Uh -huh. Then uh, just tell her that you made her two sandwiches today in case she's real hungry at lunch. 
Yes. Well, then we'll make a sandwich of two slices of bread with butter and lettuce and a piece of cardboard inside, oh, see? My. Maybe some mustard on it, and on the cardboard I'll write April Fool, you oh, see? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Oh, she will love that, honey. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll have to cut the sandwich in half. That's what I always uh, do. Yeah, yeah that, that's okay, honey. Make it look as much like her, her regular sandwiches as possible, you know, <laughs> yeah. so we can... Oh, she'll get a kick out yeah, of that, though. Yeah, she will. <laughs> you know, really, for a kid her age, she's got a marvelous sense of humor. Yeah, well, she'll like it, especially if it happens in school and she can show the other children, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, I'll be home early this afternoon. I gotta fix that garage roof while it's still light mm -hmm. out. Light out. So I'll be here when she gets home from school. Oh, all right. Sure. <laughs> I want to see her face when she walks in and says, "You too, honestly." You know, she always mimics you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, hurry up, get the cardboard before she sees us. Yeah. Oh, she will love this. She gets such a kick out of April Fool. <laughs> You know, we're going to need a new roof on this garage. Well, no need for us to worry about it. We've sold the house now. Yeah, I always <laughs> keep forgetting that. Time for Betsy's school bus. You said you wanted to see her face when she came home. and the, What? The cardboard sandwich. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the bus now. She just got a... Betsy, we're in the backyard, dear. Oh, kid, honey. You. <laughs> Wait, hi, you, darling. You, hi. You, you think she'll be mad at us, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> no, Betsy, she loves things like yeah. that. Well, here we are. Hello, dear. Hi. Well, <laughs> hello, kitty. How is school, dear? Fine. Can I go to Lisa Ronning's to play? Well, I guess so. Okay. Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. What, Daddy? Well, I... Uh, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I, I'm all right, honey. I've just been fixing the garage roof. Oh. Well, I'm going over to Lisa's house. Do I have to change my clothes, Mommy? Oh, well, yes. Y yes, of course. Wait a minute. I'll, I'll go in the house with you. Yeah, I, I will, too. I want to get a drink of water. And uh, so, <laughs> school was school was okay today, huh? Yes. I want a drink of water, too, Mommy. Yeah, oh, oh, I right, told yeah. Lisa I'd come right over if you said I could. Oh, yes, yes. Fine, dear. Sure. Anything um, unusual happen in school today? No. It was just like... Any other day, huh? Yes. Why? Oh, no, no, dear. I, I, I just, uh, I just, uh... Here, you want a drink of water, Daddy? Me too, Mommy. Yeah, yeah, here you are. I don't understand it. I don't either. Don't understand what? All just something about the garage oh, roof, yeah, dear. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Just How was your lunch today, dear? Okay, but I couldn't eat two sandwiches, Mommy. Oh. oh. Oh, I see. All right, dear. Oh, that was all right. You didn't even see our little joke, huh? <laughs> what, Daddy? Oh, well, the, the sandwich, dear. One of them. I couldn't eat both, Mommy. I didn't eat the ham sandwich. I gave that to Tommy. He was hungry. You gave the ham sandwich to Tommy? He said I could always give away what I didn't want. Well, yes, yes. Well, what, what did you eat? I ate the other sandwich. You ate it? Yes. Y you ate it? Yes. Why? Well, nothing. Did, did you notice anything you... different about it? Yes, it was very good, Mommy. Uh, uh, well, thank you, dear. Thank I'm you. going to change my clothes now and go over to Lisa's. Yes, all right, dear. Go ahead. Run along, darling. Give me another drink of water. Makes me thirsty just thinking about it. She couldn't have eaten cardboard and not noticed well, it. Well, apparently she did. Well, good heavens, don't act so casual about it. You and your bright ideas, do you think she's... She's poisoned or anything? Oh, poisoned. Well, eating cardboard certainly can't be good for well, you. Well, I guess it can't hurt her. My poor baby eating a cardboard sandwich. What do we do? Darling, it's a little late to do much of anything about it I'm now. I'm going to call the doctor. I should have known better you and your April Fool jokes. We'll return to the couple next door in just a moment. You know... Some people can push a golf ball around the course with fewer strokes than anybody else. Other people can outshoot everybody else on the range. But by and large, the people who listen to CBS Radio's Amos and Andy, Robert Q. Lewis, and Rusty Draper are superior in an even more impressive way. They're all experts at having a good time. Music, mischief, and merriment are the major ingredients of these lighthearted shows. Now, since practice makes perfect, when you hear them regularly, you're well on your way to becoming an expert at having a ball. Just as often as possible, join Amos and Andy, Robert Q. Lewis, Rusty Draper, and all of their entertaining friends 
as they come your way on most of these same CBS radio stations. Who knows? If grins are suddenly judged across America, yours could be the champion of them all. Oh, yes. Yes, well, I thought I'd better call you, Dr. Brown. I was a little worried. Uh-huh. Yeah. What did he say? Mm -hmm. Yes, I... Well, I know. <laughs> yes, all right, Dr. Brown. Why? Goodbye. What? What'd he say? He said he guessed she'd be all right. He never heard of it. But he doesn't think there's anything to worry about. He suggested that after this I give her a sandwich with more nourishment in it than ah. cardboard. Okay. Yeah, boy, you know, I can't get over it. The mustard, you know, that must have been why she didn't notice it, that mustard and pickle. Oh, the doctor sounded as though he thought we were fine parents. I tell you, I felt like an idiot telling him how funny we thought we were being. Well, look, I, how did I know she'd eat the thing? I suppose the kids are talking and playing. They don't notice what they're eating. <laughs> yes. That well, makes me kind of mad. All the delicious sandwiches I have made for and fussed over... Now she eats cardboard and apparently finds it just as good. <laughs> it's kind of funny, you know. <laughs> Gee, here she comes. Oh, now, look, don't tell no, her. No, I won't. Her. Mommy, do I have to wear my jacket? Of course you have to wear your jacket. Now, come on. It's warm out. It's spring. It is not spring yet. You put on your jacket. Wait a minute. I'll put this on. And your hat, too. Oh, Betsy, geez. honey, did you eat all of that sandwich that Mommy made for you? Yes. Oh, oh no. I gave half of it to Lisa, and she liked it, too. And she gave me half of her cupcake. Oh. Oh, heavens. All right, dear. All right. Run along, have a good time, and come home at 5 o'clock sharp. All right, Mommy. Bye. Goodbye, dear. You know what I think? I don't think she ate it at all. Why? I'll bet she's teasing us. She doesn't want us to know that she fell for that joke. Oh, no, I'll dear. Bet you. She is only six and a half. She's not sharp enough for I'll that. I'll bet she is. Listen, these kids are sharp as tacks. No, I know that, but I, I wonder. Know. Hey, golly, I just wonder. They just plain ate it, and that's that. Uh, do, hello? Oh, hello, Lisa. Well, Betsy's on her way over. Let me talk to your mother. All right, dear. Now, look, for the love of Mike, I would not tell her. I have to, supposing Lisa gets sick from it. If they're not sick from it now, they're not going to be. How do you know? Even the doctor said he'd had no experience with cardboard sandwiches. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I thought it was a very funny joke. Hello? Hello. Oh, listen, Mrs. Ronning, I feel very silly telling you this, but it seems that Betsy shared a sandwich with your Lisa at school today. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, she did. <laughs> Yes, well, it's very simple to make. Just bread, lettuce, mustard, and cardboard. Well, it was a funny <laughs> idea at the time. You'll have to admit that. Well, I tell you, I'm afraid we had an April Fool's joke that sort of backfired, and I... Well, I just can't tell you how sorry I am that your daughter was one of the victims. But No, now, don't worry. Oh, it really is... Oh, jolly. Nothing... <laughs> You can enjoy some especially good examples of drama with a couple of shows heard every Saturday here on CBS Radio. One of them is Gunsmoke, the most widely acclaimed of all Western dramas. You can hear it every Saturday over most of these same stations. The other Saturday drama is City Hospital. You'll meet doctors and nurses and orderlies, as well as the patients, all of them facing crises of one kind or another, crises that are full of interest and suspense. Get acquainted with some of them yourself this Saturday, right here on CBS Radio. The Couple Next Door is written by Peg Lynch and stars Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce with Francie Myers as Betsy and is produced by Walter Hart. This is Stuart Metz, inviting you to listen again tomorrow for The Couple Next Door.